This demonstration is not designed to teach you all of the features of Logos 2.0. Its purpose is to show you some features that are so compelling, you'll want to use this as a standard of comparison as you look at other Bible software applications. First and foremost, the Logos library system is a true library system. You can have many books, including Bibles, dictionaries, commentaries, Greek and Hebrew, as well as devotional classics. Just like a print library, you can choose the books you want. On the left-hand side of the screen is the browser. The browser is your library card catalog, and it lists all of the books in your library. By scrolling down through the browser, you can see the book titles that are there. One of my favorite capabilities in the Logos library system is a reference search. Now watch closely as you see a reference search because a reference search does what is nearly impossible to do manually and that is choose a Bible reference and then read every book in your library to find any mention whatsoever of that reference. That's tough to do manually and it works great on a computer when you have access to an entire electronic library. The Bible changes to John 1 verse 3. Deselect the notes sort. Press the down arrow button to move John 1 verse 3. Press the right arrow button to indent John 1 verse 3. Press the up arrow button to move John 1 verse 5 up. Press the print button. Check the formatting. Check your margins and press OK. We will close the window. Press the X button to close the note file. Choose the Yes option to save it. You can change the file name or cancel the save option. Close the note file and choose the No button to erase all of your changes. Close the windows. Picture this, you're seated at your desk with your Bible open to the passage of your choice, all your favorite reference books are within easy reach, you snap your fingers and instantly all the books open to the correct pages, subjects, and articles. Commentaries, dictionaries, cross-references, atlases, and theology books, all the lesson preparation is done. You spend your time in exploration and discovery instead of time-consuming preparation. That's the way it works in the new Logos Bible Software Series X. Hi, I'm Dale Pritchett, co-founder of Logos Research Systems. Let's see how easy it is to do a Bible study in the Logos Bible Software Series X. Clicking on Passage Guide, I go to the Passage window and type in John 15 verses 5 through 8 and click on Go. Immediately, the Bible of my choice has opened in the upper right-hand portion of the screen. On the left-hand portion of the screen are all my reference books which deal with John 15 verses 5 to 8, and they're already set to the right article, the right page, ready to be open. For example, if I go over here to the New Bible Commentary, I click and it's open. King James Bible Commentary, Through the Bible. Matthew Henry, as fast as I can click, I can open the reference books because the work is already done for me in the new Lagos Bible Software Series X. When I teach inductive Bible study methods, I teach my students that the first step in effective Bible study is to read the passage, then to reread it, and then to read it again. And if at all possible, read the text from a variety of Bibles. Well, your Logos Bible software is going to help you with this very important step of Bible study. When you generate a passage guide report, you'll see an area called Other Tools. And there are several options here. First of all, you'll see Search Entire Library for Passage. This option will search every book that you own from cover to cover, telling you every time that your passage is mentioned.
As hard as it may be to believe, I contend that Logos Bible Software 4 is the world's most powerful Bible software, yet at the same time it's the world's most easy to use Bible software. Now here's my support for making that statement. Let's say we're going to study Luke 2, 1 through 7. All we do is enter that reference in the passage box on the home page and then click go. Now just sit back, enjoy the ride, and watch the automated reports take over. In mere moments, numerous resources and tools related to your passage appear on the screen. Let's do a flyover of this default Bible study screen, then in other videos we'll examine each section in more detail. In the left hand tile, the passage guide and exegetical guide appear. These automated reports provide links to commentaries, cross-references, images, original language works, and more. In addition to building a sermon starter guide for a preaching theme, we can also generate a report for a biblical passage. So let me show you how this works. I want you to go to the Guides menu. Guides menu and then select Sermon Starter Guide. Guides, Sermon Starter Guide. This time when the guide opens, I want you to type in a passage like Luke 11.2. Luke 11.2. This is a single verse from the Lord's Prayer. Of course, you could generate a report for a range of verses, but in this example, we'll limit it to one verse. So you can select the verse from the list or just press the enter key to generate the report. With the new research and data sets, the improvements in the software, the resources and media we've added, Logos 6 is the most exciting version of the software we've ever produced. Philosophically, we've also tried to bring together more information in a coherent way. Maybe in your Bible study, you're not starting to focus in on a passage, but you really want to get the big picture of an entire book. And you can plug in a term into the fact book and you'll get sort of a one-stop shop. So you can have one central place for that information. Many times when you find a Bible passage or a quote from a particular author in Logos, you want to pull that out into the context of a sermon or some other presentation. Select the quote and Visual Copy finds the most appropriate media that we've created for exactly that thing. If you have a favorite quote from Spurgeon, we have a collection of professionally designed templates. Your text goes right into the slide, even including a picture of Spurgeon himself if you wish, and it's ready for presentation. What the Everything Search does is it ties things all together into one place. We're giving you the top results from all those searches and then you can drill down into the detail if you want to. Logo 7 is the world's most powerful Bible study platform. The best way to get started or upgrade to Logo 7 is with a base package. Logo 7 base packages are made up of two equally essential parts a theological library spanning reference works, ancient writings, and current biblical scholarship, and the feature set. These are the research tools that work together with your Logos library to make your time studying more efficient, productive, and rewarding. While you can purchase the libraries and the feature set separately, Logos 7's strength is found in the way they work together. 